The next sum is from the problem set, textbook page number 170, sum number 25. The sum is, some part of a journey of 555 kilometers was completed by a car with speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Then the speed is increased by 15 kilometers per hour and the journey is completed. If it takes 8 hours to reach, find the time taken and the distance covered by 60 kilometers per hour speed. Kuch samjha? Nahi samjha, right? Don't worry, read the last statement. The last statement is, find the time taken and distance covered by 60 kilometers per hour speed. There are two unknowns again. Find the time taken and distance covered by 60 kilometers per hour speed. So how do we start? Let the time taken by 60 kilometers per hour speed be x and let the distance covered by 60 kilometers per hour speed be y, right? Okay, now listen. We can do this, but if we use or if we use this method, find let the time taken be x and distance covered be y, we will get the answer, but the calculations would become a bit complicated. So in this particular sum, we will not go as per our rules, right? We will use something else as x and y. What? For that, let us understand this sum. What is given? The first statement, some part of a journey of 555 kilometers was completed by a car with speed 60 kilometers per hour. Now there is a journey, say the journey is from A to B, some part of the journey, pura journey nahi ya, some part of the journey, say from A to C, some part of this journey was completed by a car with speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Theek hai? So A to B ka pura journey hai, the total distance is given as 555 kilometers. Some part of the journey, say A to C, the speed of the car was 60 kilometers per hour. Ab aage dekhte hai kya hua? Then the speed is increased by 15 kilometers per hour and the journey is completed. So for the remaining part that is from C to B, the speed is increased by 15 kilometers per hour and the journey is completed. So what will be the new speed? 60, pe aane ke baad, 60 plus 15 which is equal to 75 kilometers per hour and now the journey is completed. Right? So those speeds di gai hai. A to C, the speed of the car is 60 and C to B, the speed of the car is 75. If it takes 8 hours to reach, I mean the total time taken is 8 hours. So, two things are given, a total distance that is 555 kilometers and total time that is 8 hours. Find the time taken and distance covered by 60 kilometers per hour speed. That means, A to C, ke beech mein, what is the time taken? and what is the distance covered. Now, as I said, this is the only sum where we will not go as per the rules of assuming the time taken as x and distance covered as y as asked in the question. Just to simplify the calculations here and just to simplify the equation formation here, what we will do is, let the time taken at 60 kilometers per hour be x and let the time taken at 75 kilometers per hour be y. Okay? So instead of assuming the time taken at 60 as x and distance covered at 60 as y, which would have complicated the calculations, what we did was, let the time taken at 60 kilometers per hour be x and let the time taken at 75 kilometers per hour be y. Okay? Time ho gaya, speed ho gaya, Bacha kya? Distance. So, hum kya karenge distance ke liye? Distance is equal to speed into time. Right? Distance is speed into time. So, AC mein speed kitna hai? 60. Time kitna hai? X. Distance kitna hai? Speed into time. That is 60 X kilometers. Similarly, in CB, it's 75 into Y. That is 75 Y kilometers. Right? So AC distance is 60x, BC distance is 75y, the total distance is 555. So what should be the first equation? 60x plus 75y is equal to 555. 
divide throughout by 15, what do we get? 4x plus 5y is equal to 37. Let this be your equation number 1. Is this clear? Q plus i because the total distance is 555. So 60x plus 75y is equal to 555, right? The second condition given was the total time taken is 8 hours. AC ka time is x, CB ka time is y, the total time is 8 hours. So what should be the second equation? x plus y is equal to 8. Let this be equation number 2, right? Now we need to solve this by the method of elimination by equating the coefficient. But either make the coefficient of x same or make the coefficient of y same. But remember one thing, as far as this sum is concerned, what is the question? Find the time taken and distance covered at 60 kilometers per hour speed. Matlab, kali AC wala time dhoonna hai aur AC wala distance dhoonna hai. AC wala time matlab kya? X aur AC wala distance matlab kya? 60X. So we have X ka value dhoonna hai aur 60X ka value dhoonna hai. Matlab in this sum, we are not interested in the value of Y and 75Y. Hame Y ka value dhoonne ki zarurat nahi hai because ye sum mein poochha nahi hai. Right? So what we will do is, we will eliminate Y by making the coefficient of Y same. Now, y ko kaise same banayenge? By multiplying equation number 2 by 5. Let us multiply equation number 2 by 5. What do we get? 5x plus 5y is equal to 40. Let this be equation number 3. 5x plus 5y, 4x plus 5y, plus 5y plus 5y. 5y, 5y will get cancelled if we subtract the first and the third equation. So next, subtracting 1 from 3, 5x plus 5y is 40, 4x plus 5y is 37. Let us change the signs, minus, minus, minus. 5y, 5y will get cancelled. So bachega kya? x is equal to 3. Once you get the value of x, now we should substitute to get the value of y. Not required, because in this sum, as I said, we are not interested in finding the value of y.